We back. What's up guys? Thank you for clicking on this video. Obviously you're excited to watch this just as I am. I'm a huge fan of the original, or I shouldn't say original because it's only been like seven years since A Quiet Place came out. If you haven't seen the A Quiet Place films, the first one, honestly I'll say it was revolutionary. When I was back in film school, I remember my sound teacher was blown away when he first saw A Quiet Place, just based on the sound alone. The story was okay, not much to it other than, you know, if you make a noise, the monsters are gonna come out and kill you. Pretty simple, but yet effective, all thanks to John Krasinski, which most of you know from The Office as um, Jim. Here, he's in the director's chair, and he was in the actor's chair for the first two. Second one was just like a little flashback, but if I'm being honest, the first opening scene of uh, Quiet Place Part 2 was probably one of my favorite parts of the movie of the second one. Quiet Place was great, honestly, I'd rate it like 9 out of 10, just based on the sound and the acting and just the music. Um, Quiet Place Part 2, I'd probably give it a 7 out of 10, I'm not gonna lie, it was a little um, step down in terms of like the action I thought and just the intensity. It still had some intense, but honestly with this one, A Quiet Place Day 1, it's taking us back to Day 1. And hopefully we'll see why these monsters are here and what caused it. This movie seems that it's going to expand the story, which I'm always for. We got Lupita, who's the GOAT. You've seen Us, you've seen 12 Years a Slave. She's amazing. And then we got our boy Joseph Quinn, who obviously you guys know as Eddie from Stranger Things. I'm curious to see because if you guys don't know, he's going to be playing Johnny Storm in the new Fantastic Four. From the first teaser trailer we got from this trailer, from A Quiet Place Day One, the first teaser um, gave us, you know, what I expected from A Quiet Place teaser trailer. Really loud sound and then of course, quiet. And that's all we got. We basically got that mixed with some city life. The shit is going down in the city and I really like that aspect because you got cars honking, you got pets, you know, barking and cats meowing and all this shit. You got people screaming, so I can only imagine. You think it's crazy now when you can't make a sound? Imagine when there, you, you have to escape sound. A Quiet Place Day One seems like it's taking the story as a sense of you have to escape the sound rather than not making a sound. You're put, in a, you're put in a position or environment where there's nothing but sound around you. Whether that's a building made out of glass, whether, you know, that's animals around you, whether that's other people's actions, you know. You're only safe if you're by yourself in this situation. So, we're going to see what we do. Alright, already starting with the, all the cars honking, loud noise. Look at all the stuff going on. You can't have a cat in here. It's a service cat. Loophole! Service cat, baby. Wow. It's kind of beautiful. Ooh. She dead. Oh, shit. I like this, because they're actually showing the monsters. They're not afraid to show them. We help each other. We have to get out of the city. This reminds me of like Cloverfield, but like, Jesus Christ, dude. But like, Jesus! This is like Cloverfield, but like times out of ten. Summer blockbuster incoming. Yup, that's the boy I was talking about. I make a noise. Oh god, dude. Oh, you're dead. If we stay here, we die. You gotta escape the sound. What's your plan, Lupita? It's the end of days. No more people. No more New York. No more nothing. Yeah, yup. Smart. All I see is glass, dude. The echo, man, the echo. You better fucking run. Yeah, dude. 
IMAX. June 28th. All right, that's exactly what I wanted, honestly. Like, nothing more, nothing less. It's exactly what I expected. People just need to escape sound. <clears throat> like I said, it was a building made of glass, even though it's like not just that. It's even just the small opening of a door, you know, a revolving door with a little briefcase stuck in it. You know when briefcases are made of that tight, very tight leather? Yeah, you don't realize how tight sounding that sounds until you see it in like a movie, but you know, I don't know. For me, the, more, the most important thing about this movie is is if the cat's gonna live, I'm not gonna lie. That cat better fucking make, out, make it out alive. But that's the thing, she has a cat with her. Cats are gonna meow at shit, you know? But cats are also very quiet when they run in step, so I don't know, I kinda like that they threw in the cat there rather than like a dog or you know, whatever, I don't know. I'm gonna be there day one. Yeah, let me know what you guys thought about it. Leave a comment, like, subscribe, and share. And as always, later nerds. They not like us. 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 They not like us.